Bombadillo! Hello everybody and welcome! Welcome to a new special video, welcome to 2025 BFME Gaming. That's right people, we've got a new revolutionizing software. And this is the next step in our BFME evolution. We have had, these last years, so many improvements on how to play Rise of the Witch King and various BFME games. We've got the delay fix, we've got the stock fix, we've got countless updates. But today I bring to you what we've been waiting for for so long. Smooth gameplay. Absolute high FPS experience on Rise of the Witch King, BFME 2, BFME 1 and any old game you want actually. <laughs> Excuse my voice, I'm a bit sick. <laughs> with the help of this simple application, this simple software called Lossless Scaling. This software has been brought up by a community member on the Rise of Watch King 2.02 Discord, and apparently it's been used on Age of the Ring videos and such by players, and we only find about it now. But what a beautiful find! This software allows us to play Rise of the Witch King or any BFME games at a high frame rate. If you don't know what a frame rate is, it's basically, yeah, frames per second, FPS, which allows you to have a smoother experience, so it's nicer to the eyes, it's nicer for the reaction time, and so on. Now, this software only enhances the uh, frame rate on your screen. It doesn't actually increase the frame rate in the game, but it's just as if it was increased in the game. That's why it's so good, it's because it is seamless. In this video, I will present to you how to install it, which is very simple, uh, which settings to use, how to stream with it for every content creator, every video maker, I will show you how you can stream and make videos with it. For example, casters and yeah, streamers, you will be able to stream with it and it will be so much better to watch for your viewers, the game is 60 FPS instead of 30. Now this uh, program can allow you to go up to 120 FPS, even more, I think, but it's already good. So for this to work, it depends on the frame rate of your monitor. Most monitors have 60 Hz of frame rate, which can make you able to see up to 60 FPS, which is the norm nowadays. Uh, 60 FPS is usually yeah, the norm on YouTube videos and, and such. But if you have a, a better monitor, you can, with a um, higher frame rate, such as, I don't know, 120 hertz, 165 hertz, like me, you can actually go up in FPS and you will notice it in uh, directly on the screen, which is very nice. Just like a modern game, just like every new modern game that's been out, now BFME games will be able to reach the standards the golden standards <laughs> of video gaming. So yeah, we'll be able to play all of the BFME games with no delay, high frame rate, just smooth experience, man. Just everything. It's it's basically 2024 gift as we enter 2025 New Year. It's the New Year gift, guys. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, the settings are pretty simple. I keep the scaling type on off as we don't need to scale as our game is already in the right resolution. I keep the mode on 4x because I have 165 Hz monitor so I can see up to 120 FPS and I use the LSG, LSFG 2.3. Now as you can see all the settings you can change them if you want but that's the settings that I use. It's nothing crazy. It's basically default settings. I, I just removed the scaling type. I also recommend you put the, the application in uh, run as administrator, start as administrator, because it will prevent any issues from happening. All right, so as you will see, it is pretty simple. Uh, here you see we are on 30 FPS. The game is, as we know, well, pretty stuttery. <laughs> 30 FPS is, is kind of old and yeah, it's old. So I propose to you that we activate our new toy. <laughs> we activate our new settings. And to do that, I will, Pause the game. You don't need to pause the game, but I will pause the game 
and use the keybind. So it's Control Alt plus S. And as you can see on the top of the screen, you can see the frame rate changing. So from 30 to 120. Of course, on the video, it will be 60 FPS because that's the video um, editing, that's the video uh, limit. But you can already, already see the change, how smooth it is. It just, it's, it's, a new, it's a new day for BFMB games, guys. It's a new day of entertainment. Now, of course, it, it costs some money. It costs five euros, six euros, depending on the, the sales uh, to get this, this, um, this software. But I mean, the game is free. <laughs> what, uh, we, we can invest five euros to get a, a beautiful experience like this. I, I definitely recommend it to you guys. As you can see, everything is smooth. Just gonna make some units, just gonna make some stuff. Got Gandalf here. All right, as you can see, we'll uh, deactivate it. So one thing to keep in mind that is very important is that you cannot alt tab while the app, the software is on. So as long as you see on the top of the screen, the frame rate changed, you must not alt tab. If you alt tab, it might cause the application to crash. So what you need to do is first deactivate it with your with the hotkey that you have selected for it. So you can change the hotkey in the settings of the app. I just kept the default hotkeys, which is Control Alt plus S, and then you can alt tab. So here I just did it, and we're back on 30 FPS, and it already feels so bad <laughs> to play in 30 FPS again. Let's reactivate it because we love it and you get some Gandalf gameplay there <laughs> yeah this is this is the best guys this is a next level BFME experience this I believe will work on any BFME games I've only tried it with Rise of the Witch King but of course it should work on any BFME games on any game really that software is actually very good for other games it can really boost your FPS and help but of course today we are using it for Rise of the Witch King and BFME, so look at those powers, powers popping off, everything is smooth, everything is great. So the only small downside that you may have, may have with this app is that there might be a slight delay to commands, like very slight, I, you, you really don't feel it in BFME, um, but I felt it in other games when I tried the app sometimes, but it's really very slight and I don't know, on BFM you don't feel it because the game is already uh, a little bit delayed, even on the on the on the commands. But yeah, I don't know. You, you, I don't feel the the delay at all. Um, I felt it on the games, like I said, but very slight, very 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 small. And yeah, on BFME, BFME like I said, I, I don't feel it at all. Now let's compare the powers with the old game, 30 FPS. Look at how. Stutter it is how slow compared to, to the smooth aspect of lossless scaling. It's crazy. I, like since I've tried this app yesterday, actually I discovered it yesterday. I cannot go back to normal BFME. It's impossible. <laughs> I will always use this app to play now. It's just so smooth, so nice, and I don't see a downside yet. So yeah, I haven't seen any downside. I played multiplayer with it. I've played arena. I've played everything. I haven't tried it on Game Ranger yet, but it's it's the same. I mean, it doesn't change anything. You just need to have the app on, and it should work perfectly. This app, this software, works on any platform. So if you want to use this app on Arena, you can. If you want to use this app on Game Ranger, you can. If you want to use this app on Radmin, you can. The only thing you have to do is have the software on and when you reach when you go in game activate the hotkey control alt plus s to activate it sometimes you need to click the hotkey twice i don't know why exactly but it works <laughs> and once you're in arena once you're any in any game really you will be able to play with a smooth experience now of course this doesn't remove any connection issues you might have uh, when uh, playing on a bad host of someone or when having a bad connection, of course. This only improves the overall quality of the frame rates on your computer only. The, the game will not change. It's it's just like it's an illusion over your screen that makes makes it appear smooth. 
So it's really a wonder. It's really, really good. It's like, it's wonderful. But yeah, that's it. This is 2025 BFME Gaming, guys. I can't wait to see you all stream and make videos with a smooth gameplay, with a smooth screen like that. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait for you guys to enjoy this software. Again, it's only five euros, so just get it, you know. It, it, I mean, it, it's really cheap. We we don't we already don't pay the game. We already don't pay <laughs> anything when playing this game except electricity and internet. So if you really want a big upgrade on your game, I really recommend you get this app. It's really amazing. All right, for streamers and content creators, I'll show you. On OBS, you will have your game capture here that will capture your, your normal game. Here is just the screen capture to show you. I'm going to make a new game capture and I'm going to rename it Lossless Scaling. And what I will do here is I will select a specific window window, and uh, by, by selecting a specific window, this will allow us to see, to see in game as soon as we activate it. So you go, you go select Lossless Scaling, capture a specific window, Lossless Scaling and activate cap, uh, capture record layers such as team that is important now lossless scaling will take um, the place of the game capture if you're in game so be sure to uh, have it on as soon as you go in game activate it and it should appear and yeah i wish you a happy new year and a happy new year of gaming on bfme see you guys around thank you for watching